Welcome to Creations by In Him. I am your host, Dr. Dolores Jones. Of course, we're always in for another wonderful treat because of the Word of God. Well, continuing on with our lesson in patience, <laughs> part two. <laughs> Give me patience, Lord, and I want it right now. Well, it just doesn't happen up like that. It's a time and it's a process. Hallelujah. Yes, patience, patience, patience. Yes, I'm sure we're all growing some big trees in the backyard. <laughs> patience. <laughs> Glory to God. But it is a, it is a development and it, it's a time and it is a process. Well, looking over in the Word of God in the book of James in chapter number one, uh, starting with verse number two, it says, My brethren, count it all, A-L-L, -L, joy when you fall into various trials. In other, t uh, in other words, trials, testings, temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Oh, hallelujah. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Yes, well, like I said, Lord, give me patience and give it to me now. Well, like I said, it just doesn't happen up like that. It, it seems like in the beginning when you first receive Jesus and, and you start learning how to use the word of God, it's like, whoa, things, boom, that manifestation is there. Boom, manifestation over here. But as the time goes on, it seems like it takes a little bit longer. Well, that fruit, that tree. Patience is being developed, but it's all good. It's a time, it's a process. You know, I was speaking over there in, in Galatians, in um, Galatians chapter number five. Well, we can go ahead and turn to it. Galatians five, chapter number five. And uh, bless the Lord. And looking at verse number 22, it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering there's that patience long suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such there is no law so yes it's a time and it's a process of that patience the endurance you in other words you're you're learning you're, you're developing that your endurance hallelujah and it, as the time goes on, it gets to be easier and better and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. But you got to start with it. Let's look now um, over in, um, let's see, First Timothy. Um, well, yeah, First Timothy number 6, and we'll look at verse number 11. It says, but you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, hallelujah, gentleness. <laughs> yes, all these good things. It says to pursue it. That means run after it. Go get it. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> That's what we have to learn how to do during that time and process. Over in uh, First Thessalonians, and I believe it's, uh, the, let's see, chapter number one, and verse number three, and um, it says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, and patience, ooh, of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of our God and Father. My, 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 labor of love and patience of hope. Wow. Mm. Hallelujah. What the word tells us with patience, they obtain the promise. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. So, you know, faith and, and patience, those are the power twins. Mm -hmm. So we have to work this word. It, it's a development, it's a time, and it's a process. And it's just not going to be like, whoop, there it is. It's going to be a little time spent. But the good thing is we'll get to it. <laughs> we'll grow that fruit 
of persons, that tree. <laughs> Over in uh, Romans number 15, and we'll look at verse number 5. It tells us, it says, now may the God of who? Patience Ooh, and comfort grant you to be like-minded towards one another according to Christ Jesus. May the God of patience. Now, if God has patience, what do you think we're supposed to have? Ooh, Jesus is Lord. Yes, 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 yes. But there again, I'm always reminding you the importance about being filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, the greater one. Yes, because he's going to help us develop these fruits, the fruit of the Spirit on the inside of us. Yes, you stir that gift up, and the more you do it, the more that you are being built up from within, so that when the situations and circumstances of everyday life come against us to confront us, we're already ready to make our stand and send the enemy on his way and let him know that he's not running nothing up in here. He is not the boss. I say I'm the boss, applesauce. Understand, rubber band. Don't get wise, bubble eyes. I'll knock you down to a peanut size. You let him know who you are in the Lord. And we're not putting up with his mess in Jesus' name. And see, that's why it's so important that we learn these things in the Word of God. It's going to be the same thing, be the doer of his Word and not just the hearer only. We have to learn how to put forth and have corresponding actions based on what God's Word says. That's how you know that you are growing in the things of the Word of God. You have to have the corresponding actions. And it is a time, it's a process, Hallelujah, but we have the victory. And always remember, we're not a victim. We are the victors in and through Christ Jesus. And you have to understand that. It's the devil that wants to tell you lies, thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. No, you, you don't have to accept what he's trying to bring to you. When you recognize that what he's trying to bring to your mind, negative thoughts, ideas, and suggestions that are not lining up with the word of God, you have to let him know, no, I'm not receiving that. I'm not accepting that devil. I'm, that's not my father's MO. I don't have to receive it, and I'm not going to in the name of Jesus. Now, you get out of here in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's how we learn how to use the word of God. Be the doer. Tell the devil, go back to the pit from whence you have spun in Jesus' name. You're not running nothing up in my household. No, you're not invited. You got to go and go now. But if you don't do anything, he's like, he's like flies to fly paper. You can tell him to get out in a few minutes, and then all of a sudden you look around, here he comes back with some more negative thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. No, we have to deal with it right away, family. When you recognize that, no, this devil is trying to give me this mess now, and I have to say, no, this is not God's MO. I'm not accepting this stuff. But we're the ones that have to deal with it. We're the ones that have to learn how to meet him eyeball to eyeball, lip to lip, and refuse to back down in the name of Jesus. That's what you have to do. Because, see, God has given us his word. He's given us his authority in his name. Because the word tells us that at the name of Jesus, every tongue must confess that he's Lord. And every knee must bow to the glory of God the Father in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father, because like I said, we, are, we have the victory. And we just have to learn how to maintain it, walk in it according to what God's word says. There again, the reason why the message of faith is so vitally important to be taught, because when it comes to operating in the word of God, man has to turn off sense, knowledge, evidence, what I can see, feel, hear, touch, and taste. I have to operate according to what I believe based on what his word says. The word of God says it, I believe it, that settles it for me in the name of Jesus. Because our God said, I will confirm my word with the signs following. And he's, he's a faithful God. He's not a liar. He will do it. He will bring it to pass. And we can depend on that. 
That's the kind of God that we serve. Oh, wow. But letting patience have its perfect or complete work on the inside of us. Yes. And recognizing that according to uh, Acts 17 and 28, that it's in him that we live and move and have our being. Right in him and through what his word says. My, 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 my. Yes, patience. Let patience. Lord, give me patience. And I want it right now, but it just does not happen like that, family. Uh, we have to operate it in it by faith. It has to be developed. It's a process. It's a, a time of endurance. Having done all to stand, that's that endurance. You're standing. You're trusting God's word. You're confessing what his word says. Because confession brings possession of saying what God's word says. And he's the one that said, I will. I will, I will, I will confirm my word with the signs following. He's a God of his word. He'll do all that his word says he will do, all that we will believe and confess in line with this word. Then he said, I will confirm my word with signs following. And we can depend on that. We can depend on that because he's such a faithful God. Oh, he's such a faithful God. So there again, we have to learn how to walk the walk and talk the talk and stay on top of the situations and circumstances of everyday life and not have them piled on top of us. The devil is a lie. Enough is enough. That's what I'm talking about. He, uh-uh. He is bound from operating. You have to let him know that in the name of Jesus, you see. Because God, there again, he's given us his word. He's given us his authority. And at his name, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that he is Lord. That's the kind of God that we serve. He's an awesome God. He's a loving heavenly father. He's a faithful God. He is faithful when you've been yet unfaithful. That's just how good he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and he tells us to, to trust in him with all our heart and soul. Lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways, A-L-L, all. Acknowledge our Father, and he'll direct our paths. That's what we're talking about. That's the kind of God that we serve. Oh, he's so awesome. Oh, family, if you could just get that down on the inside. He's so loving. He, his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. Whatever happened yesterday is yesterday. Today is a new day. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. New beginnings and a fresh start. Yes, 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 yes. I can go and move, move forward in the things of the word of God knowing that my father loves me, knowing that he cares for me, about me, knowing that he has my back. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, he will do it. He'll do it, family. You just have to learn to, to be the doer of his word and not just the hearer only. Oh, awesome God he is. My, 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 my. Oh, and let that fruit of patience Mm. develop over the time. It's a time and it's a process. Glory to your name. Let's go over to uh, Matthew chapter number 18. Matthew 18. And we'll start off with verse number 23. It says, Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king, who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had been gone uh, or begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that, that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and that may, payment be made. Wow. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience. What? Have patience. Oh, my, my, my. He's asking the, the uh, uh, master to have patience with me. I will pay you all. Then the master of that servant was moved with compassion, 
released him and forgave him the debt. That's awesome. That's the mercy of God. That's the compassion of God. Oh, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Woo, that's so precious, so precious. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me. I will pay you all. Then the master of that servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. Now, that's, that's how God operates. But that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denaro. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and began to beg him, saying, Have patience with me. I will pay you all. And he would not. Mm. He didn't do it. And then he, when he knew him, uh, threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants, uh -huh, they were watching, saw what he had done, they were very grieved, and they came and told their master all that he had begun had done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all the debt because you begged me. Why should not you also have compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you if you, each of you, from your heart, does not forgive his brother his trespass. So that's what the word says. We have to do like our Father. He had mercy. He had compassion. He had pity on that individual. And, and uh, that, that individual that went to him and begged him and he forgave him, oh my gosh, that was ugly. And then he didn't return the favor. Yeah, that's, that's not a God thing. That's just, that's the enemy. So we have to learn how to do things God's way and just not our way and have the compassion of God. And, and God is loving, God is merciful. And, and he will give us uh, opportunity to make adjustments and get things taken care of and line up according to what his word says. He's so loving and so caring. Amen. But we have to learn how to do likewise, family. It's a reciprocal uh, 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 thing or, or attribute. As God has done for us, we do for others, just like he's done for us. And that's, that's what he likes. He likes us to, to walk and operate in, in his compassion, his mercy, and his love. And we can do that. It's a choice of one's will to want to be pleasing to our Heavenly Father. So that's where the word tells us in Philippians 4 and 13, that I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. So we can do it. It's just a matter of my choice to want to please my father more than I want to please my flesh and be ugly. Oh, but thank God for the victory that he's already given us. The devil wants to tell you that you are a victim, and that's a lie from the pit of hell. You are a victor, not a victim. You are more than a conqueror and not more than conquered. Amen. That's what we're talking about today. Oh, God's faithfulness towards us. God's mercy towards us. And his mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. What more can we ask for every morning, not just one day, every morning. Hallelujah. That means we get new beginnings and a fresh start in our life. That's awesome. That's why I say, you go, Jesus. You go, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to his name. He's so wonderful. More than amazing, more than marvelous, more than miraculous, he is. He is all of that. Ooh, and a bowl of cherries, too. <laughs> That's our daddy. Oh, thank you, Father. We love you. We just appreciate you. You're such an awesome God. We thank you for your 
opportun or the opportunities that you have given us to get ourselves together and get in line with what your word says and be those examples one to another. Oh, we thank you, Father. We don't take it lightly, nor do we take it for granted, but we do truly appreciate it this day. Thank you so much. Praise your name. Praise your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. How to develop that fruit, that fruit of patience. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Have the compassion because God is love. Yes, and the love of God keeps on reaching. So that's what we have to be the doer of the word and not just to hear only allowing the love of God on the inside of our hearts to keep reaching to others. Amen. That's what we are to do, family. Do like our Father. Be that doer and just not the hearer of what his word says. So, and he just reminds us, he says, let patience have its perfect or complete work being entire, wanting nothing because he's already given us everything, everything that pertains to life and godliness. He's already made provision for it, for us. And all we have to do is choose it and begin to operate in it. I say choose it or lose it. <laughs> the ball is in your park. How you want to act, what you want to do, glory to his name. But it's an exciting time when you learn to say, well, Father, I decrease that you might increase on the inside of me. I want you to do things. I want to purpose in my heart to, to do things your way and not just my way. Glory to your name. Oh, hallelujah, family. Oh, to God be the glory. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you today. We just praise you. You are worthy to be praised. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive blessing, glory, honor, and majesty. You are so worthy, Father. Oh, we just appreciate you, Father. Oh, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Bless you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for calling us into your kingdom for a time such as this. Oh, we thank you and we bless you. Ah, oh, now, if you'll just repeat after me, I want to pray this prayer. Dear God, your word says that if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I would be saved. For with my heart I believe unto righteousness, and with my mouth confession is made unto salvation. Lord Jesus, you are now my Lord. You are my Savior. I do thank you for taking spiritual torment for my sin. I thank you, Father, for taking mental distress for my worries and anxieties. I give you all the praise I receive by stripes, my healing now in the name of Jesus. I thank you. The hi, family. Hi, brother. Hi, sister. Welcome to the family of God. Now you got to get busy. Get involved in a word teaching church in the name of Jesus. And always remember that you are more than a conqueror. You are on top of situations and circumstances in everyday life. If you are in need of additional prayer, there's a phone number. You can call OCN. Someone will pray with you. And OCN would like to hear from you just to let them know, yes, I received Jesus today. Well, this is Dr. Jones. I want to thank you for viewing and taking time today, and I trust that you receive from the Word of God. We'll see you for the next time. I love you. Bye now.